Yo, what is going on, family? This your boy, Ann. I'm back here with Black Knight again. We're going to do something a little different. Um, if you got a system, you need to run the big three. And I'm going to show you what you need to run. Uh, you need to run these wires. This is the ground wire, which is zero gauge. And this is the hot wire, which is zero gauge. And then you got to have these big clamps right here. I'm going to put these together, and I'm going to show you how to run the big three. Um, basically, if you got a system like mine that's pulling a lot of power, I did my Diet Coke car like that. I ran the zero wire a long time ago. I started off with a small amp, but I knew later on I was going to put a bigger amp in it. So when I did, I already had the wire run, so I had the work done. Um, really, I don't need zero wire here yet, but I'm going to upgrade to a bigger amp and stuff. So I'm going to keep stepping up this car like I did the Coke car. Uh, right now, it's sounding pretty good, doing good, but. I'm going to go ahead and run the big three wire, um, maybe later on run um, the zero gauge wire in there. Um, hell, I might just do it now, run the zero gauge wire back there even though I don't need it, and then run the big three. So I'm going to go ahead and hook all this up, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, as y'all can see, uh, well, let me get the camera up there so y'all can see. <laughs> Um, I did hook the hot wire up and I went from the alternator right here, right there, running that zero gauge wire back over here, running the fuse. Your fuse got to be bigger than your um, alternator um, amperage. Um, so I got this real big thick one right here. Um, it's 350 um, fuse in it. So, and then I run it back to the hot one. Now I gotta do my ground wire, so I gotta get a, I gotta um, prep my wire, put the ends on. So I'm gonna run from here from the ground, and I'm gonna jack the car and find a good ground on the body, and ground it off. And basically that'll be it on your big three um, wiring. Okay, so let me go ahead and prep my wire, and I get back with y'all. All right, so what I did, I took that bolt out right there, and. Um, it should be pretty good because the boat kind of thick fit right in there and then I went under here and sand this down see if I can get up in there for y'all I got the light you know, all kinds of different lights too let's see it I think I need to come the angle a little more uh, see uh, I think the pole is kind of Covering it up, the, um, you can see part of it right there. Is that okay? You can see right there. That's a little bit better, but see if I can zoom in. Right there, I sanded that down so it can get a good grind. Because you're wasting your time if you don't sand it down and get all that dirt and stuff all the way, get a good grind, and then take some clear and spray on it. Clear um, paint. Um, will stop it from rusting. Um, that's something new I learned. So anytime you sand something down and you don't want it to rust, spray some clear on it and it won't rust. See, you learn something new every day. Alright, we'll get this screw in and get back.